over there every Friday, we talk about being fancy and fit. Break them up. Cause you wanna make sure this mix is really One, two, three. And welcome back to my channel. My name is Gwendolyn Ray and thank you for joining me today. So today I'm going to try to take out 10 minutes to show you how I make homemade dishwashing tabs. This is not my specific ingredients. I actually got these ingredients from another YouTuber, but I decided to bring it onto my channel so I can show you how to make it as well. That way, if you've never seen it before, you can see how to do it on this channel. But once I found out there was a way to make homemade dishwashing tabs, I did want to do it on my own because it's really fun to make things on your own, you know, just to say that you accomplished something and to also bring something that's eco-friendly into your home. These ingredients are very simple. You can buy them at any um, department store. You can even find some of them at Dollar Tree. So I'm excited to show you how I make them. Bring it a little bit closer so you can actually see all the ingredients up close. So I actually decided to do a voice over here because my air conditioner was so loud. <laughs> so I'm just showing you my book. This is where I put all my um, instructions to different DIYs that I make. So you're going to need three ice trays because this mix is going to give you two and a half ice trays of cubes, well, of tabs. You're going to need one measuring cup, cup one tablespoon, and also a liquid measuring cup, a mixing bowl, a spoon to mix it all up with, kosher salt. Now this is not table salt, just letting you know, make sure that it is kosher salt. Lemon juice, any kind is fine. I bought the generic brand from Walmart. Baking soda, as well as the washing soda. This is from Arm & Hammer as well, but washing soda is different, so make sure you are picking out the right one. So I'm gonna do one cup of washing soda. Soda. <laughs> That's what my mom used to say, soda. She called it so soda. <laughs> so I think I still have her accent, <laughs> her slang. So one cup of washing soda. Then we're gonna do one cup of baking soda and um, you probably already know, but they are not the same. Baking soda is not the same as washing soda. So make sure you are using the right ingredients. Okay. It's a little messy, but you know, it's okay. We're going to get a little messy today. Um, and then we're going to do one cup of kosher salt. We're going to do one cup of that as well. I don't know why, but I really love the sound of the crystals. It's just so satisfying. Okay. So now we're going to mix this up together. So I'm going to try to bring them a little bit closer. So we're going to mix it really well together. And... You want to make sure all the dry ingredients are mixed as well as you can because this is about to be a little chemical reaction once we add the next ingredient. So I'll just say do this for about a minute. It shouldn't take that long. But also if you see any chunks, you want to go in and try to break them up with your hands. So I see a few of them. So I'm gonna um, break those up now. Yeah. So see chunks, you just wanna squish them and break them up. Cause you wanna make sure this mixes really well together. <coughs> Tasting it. I guess if you want, you can wear a mask. Yeah, I choose not to. <laughs> okay, so that's mixed really well. I'm actually gonna go wash my hands and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. So the next part is the fun part. 
this is the part where you get to make some bubbles. So we're gonna add three fourths of lemon juice to this mixture and you're about to see something happen. <laughs> if you like science class in school, you probably already know what's about to happen. <laughs> so we're gonna do three fourths right here. I always like to use um, the rest of the ingredients that I have before I open a new bottle. I used to work at Wawa and it's one thing that we learned was um, first in first out. So whatever comes in first is what you use before you use the next new product. So almost there, three fourths, and there you go. Got my three fourths. And let me close this up because it's so clumsy. I accidentally knock it over. So this part your kids might like because it does bubble up. Look at that. So if you have your children around while you make something like this, they might want to see that chemical reaction. It's, it's kind of cool, I think, too. <laughs> when I first saw it, I was like, wow, is, is, is that going to mix right? <laughs> but it always does. It's, it's pretty fine. So now you're just going to try to mix it all together. Here you're gonna mix the lemon juice with the dry ingredients. And you wanna make sure the lemon juice touches every corner of this bowl. Because this is also gonna help it stick together to make a dishwasher. So, while I mix this up, I wanted to talk to you really quickly. So I don't know if you've seen already, you probably haven't, but I actually joined weekly panel over at the work from home wife of atlanta's channel and her name is tania by the way and i joined her panel um, because i love what her channel stands for so over there every friday we talk about being fancy and fit and i really love that topic as you know, over here on this channel, I actually try to share a little bit of my femininity and the tips that I try to take into my day-to-day -day life. And I actually have been going over there every single Friday and helping host live show over there. I've been really enjoying it. So this Friday, if y'all wanna see me in a different element, I want you to head over to her channel I'm gonna leave her channel link in the description section. And I'll also leave um, a list, a playlist of the videos that I have collaborated with her on lately. Also, Mrs. Penny from Mrs. from Penny's Place has been with us as well. And they are amazing women. So when you get a chance, go check out their channels and go look at those videos because I think we talk about some important things over there. Um, and I would love for you to come and see us every Friday at 8 o'clock. So, <laughs> that would be nice. I am sweating over here. Okay. It is, as you know, the middle of summer. And we're actually having a heat wave right now. So, it is... To, earlier today, it was 105 degrees. I'm pretty sure it's not that hot right now, but goodness gracious, it is hot. And I actually turned off my air conditioner so I could film this video because with it being on, oh my goodness, it is so loud. I'm actually going to let you hear it. Do you hear that? It sounds like there's a bulldozer right outside my house. <laughs> the air feels good, but I have to use my ears, so I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> So I'm almost done making this mixture anyway. So the next steps, you are going to take your tablespoon and you're gonna scoop out and flatten out some of the mixture like this. I don't wanna drop it. <laughs> some of the mixture like this. And then you're gonna put it into one of the ice tray sections and you're gonna press it down. You press it down like that and make sure there's no air pockets. That way it'll be firm. So I'm gonna take the time to fill up all these trays. I have three right now. 
I'm most likely only going to be able to fill up two and a half because that's normally how much this mixture makes. And that lasts me for a while. So I decided to put on a show to watch while I fill up the trays. I already did one, but I'm going to do the rest here while I watch Moesha. So I've been trying to catch up with old shows that I used to love watching as a kid because it brings back memories and also makes me feel really relaxed. I normally don't make these up in my beauty room, but today I decided to so I could be able to record in peace and I'm enjoying it. <laughs> what shows are you currently watching right now? Are you catching up on anything old <laughs> like me? Or do you have a new show that you've been watching? Moesha is actually free on Prime right now. So that's how I'm able to watch it from my computer. So if you have Prime, go check out the shows they have available. You'd be surprised what you find there. It took me about a half a show to complete these, but that's because I really was taking my time. So I can say this may take you about 20 minutes to make, but they do have to sit 24 hours before you use them. This way they'll be solid enough to put them inside of a container. Please give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you like this video and you find this DIY useful for you and your household. Also, there is one important thing as well. I did hear that if you do not use the correct products for your dishwasher, your warranty will be will be voided. So it's really up to you if you want to use this or not. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you don't know what to do, just be naturally.